it's Wi-Fi repeater comparison time and I have three Wi-Fi repeaters here in front of me varying from a rather nice AC dual band one that you've probably seen in one of my previous videos this kind of weird Belkin cube thing that just looks like it's going to perform so badly and um, finally a 300 meg single band 2x2 two two TP link thing which actually has an ethernet port as well like the Netgear one so that should make the setup rather a bit easier unlike the Belkin one which seems to be devoid of really anything beside a WPS button. For it to be a fair test all three access, all three repeaters are going to be connected to my nice ASUS access point, which is broadcasting with 40 megahertz channels in both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, and we'll be speed testing against the internet connection provided by this Virgin Media Super Hub, because the poor person's house I'm at has a sufficiently fast connection that it won't be providing a bottleneck in this application so we'll be able to test pretty much the raw performance of the repeaters and compare them against each other and hopefully provide a nice excel graph like we usually do so first we're going to start with the tp-link 300 megabit adapter and i've got it plugged in through a network cable so we can just very briefly run through the setup so see we've just got the network setup thing here press next select the country and it will just check the wireless network that you're going to repeat from. So you can see it's found the two networks here. So we'll just select host network next, and I'll just have to insert the uh, passcode, and that should be it pretty much. And there we go, everything's already set up now. So now it's just rebooting, and then we'll be able to test the speed. TP link is now in its destination location and we now can test it. So first things first I'm just going to run the test without the repeater in place so we have sort of a benchmark to start from and you can see we're getting about 10 meg per second down which is a little bit on the low side especially as this is potentially a 150 meg connection and we're also getting about 10 in the upload direction. So you go to submit and view results. So you see it's about 10 in both directions. We're still only getting, we're still getting sub 10 meg per second, unfortunately. So it's a little bit low. Although we did just about scrape 11 on the upload there, but speed has only improved very slightly. And now onto the mini Belkin one. So with this one, there's no wired network port, so we have to, um, access its control panel through the through the wireless network which I hate doing it this way but unfortunately we don't have a choice so here's obviously the setup page so just press start da, da, da. and then hopefully it will find our designated host network and let us repeat it uh, so there we go use that one Stick my password in. Next. And hopefully it will just work everything out and connect, and then we can test the speed. It is doing the LED flashy shenanigans. So, right, now to run the test. getting about 30 meg per second now so that was about three times what we had before although it's still a little bit still a little bit jumping all over the place I'm not sure how the upload speed has suddenly become so much higher than this connection even supports we we'll just have to see what the graph says because it seems that there's still a little bit of instability there so while it seemed to work fast while it actually works it keeps losing connection with the host despite the fact the signal where it's located is actually quite strong and in a normal household environment this wouldn't really be acceptable so now finally we'll be taking a look at the Netgear AC one um, and so it's just once again the pretty much the usual setup routine I mean they are all pretty much the same really so and they all seem to use admin and admin as the username and password as well 
the password is in fact just password and that should let us in and yeah the process is just like the other two so it's just going to really search for wireless networks and then we'll just proceed through so here you can see we've once again just choose our host network press continue stick our passcode in once again select the host network for 5 gigahertz because this one supports dual band stick the passcode in and then it's just a case of waiting for it to establish a connection with the host network and set up its own sort of broadcasting so that we get the extended wireless network then it's just a case of pressing continue twice and letting it really do all the work and we should see in a second that it becomes available as a wireless network on the um, target devices which it kind of has now so right now we're going to test with the super duper AC capabilities of the Netgear and you can see already we're getting 60 to 70 megabits 3 minute times 80 megabits per second so it clearly is outperforming the other access points by the other repeaters by quite a significant amount really in fact it's the only one coming close to hitting the full speed of this network. So there really is only one winner in this experiment and it just happens to be the one that the cat is pointing at. The Netgear performed pretty admirably throughout the process um, achieving very good speeds as you saw especially on the 5 gigahertz band whereas the other two basically fell flat on their faces really and provided little to no improvement if they worked at all.